because yes. it is life threatening. That's right. If you are not obedient with your calling, yes. it is life threatening that if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, somebody else can sink and fail. And That's right. Come on. You know that blood is on your hands because you should did what I told you to do. Amen. All right. All right. So, what does the Bible have to say about consistency? What's the point of it? Mm -hmm. The New International Version of Joshua 1a says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything mm -hmm. written in it. Then you will be prosperous yeah. and successful. But I've been reading that scripture for a very long time. I grew up in church. My mama had us in church since we was a little boy. Little boy. But have you ever realized that it says, and it maybe it's just me, but it just says, so that you may be careful to do mm -hmm. everything written in it. Yeah. Meditate on it. Yeah. Day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. So what happens is if you are reading something consistently, that's the reason why Pastor always speaks about make sure that you be careful on what you're watching, what you're listening to, who you're hanging around, because what happens is what you're perceiving with whoever you, whomever you're around, it begins to be get in your heart. Yes. Amen. So now if something is in your heart, what do you do? That's why people give out of love because it's in their heart. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yes. You know, they do things because it's in their hearts. So that's why sometimes people do evil things because it's in their heart. It's right. in their heart. Right. Yeah. right. So, Lord, what you're telling me is that I have to keep this book of the law always, not one time, not two times, <laughs> not three times, not five times. Come on. I have to always, always. keep yeah. it on my lips. Hallelujah. So when fear comes, Come on. A power of love and a sound mind. Yeah. I'm feeling weak right now. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Oh, yeah. Whom shall I fear? The Lord yeah. is the strength of my life. Mm -hmm. Whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Because I have to keep it yeah. on my lips. I have to meditate on it That's right. day and night. So when I wake up, I have to be thinking about it. When I go to bed, I got to be thinking about it. And That's not right. only thinking about it and meditating on it and speaking it, yeah. I have to walk in it. Now. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, because faith without works huh. is dead. Yeah. So, if he said, Benil, I want you to go into the mind ministry. Okay, Lord, I think that that sounds great. I love the vision. But if I never ever walk in the mind ministry, Come then on. I wouldn't be in this position of speaking right now. Hallelujah. Because the thing about it is, it steps to it. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. it's when you have a bodybuilder. Come on. He can't go in and start lifting 400 pounds. Come on, come on, break it down. He has to go in, he goes in, he goes to 100. Yeah. Then after a while, he does 200. That's right. Come and on. after a while, he says, okay, I'm up to three. Yes, sir. Next thing you know, he's up to four. It's levels to it. Come on. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. We'll explain it like this. When a person is trying to lose weight, Frank knows. <laughs> when a person is trying to lose weight, they have a meal plan Come that on. they go by. All okay, right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink so many gallons of water, eat, eat so much pasta, I'm going to uh, eat so much baked chicken, eat so much protein, take in, and so that this would be this, 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 and I, okay, I follow my meal plan. Mm hmm but yes, you have to follow the meal plan. But also, there's a workout routine that you have to do behind it also. Come on. So now I'm following my meal plan, and now 
I gotta walk, I gotta go to the gym and work out. Okay, did you have your shake today? Yeah, I had my shake today, and I had my gallons of water. Yes, okay, sir. let's go, because I did what I was supposed to do. So now I have a guide, and now I have to go ahead and do it. It's no different than a GPS. A GPS can guide you wherever, but you have to drive the car to get there, right? All right, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, you uh, and what the Bible is saying here is that you have to meditate on the word day and night, day and night. so yeah. you can be able to do according to everything yeah. written uh -huh. in it. Uh -huh. right. The Bible is your guide. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's your meal plan. Glory. Mm -hmm. He right. gives you the steps in the meal plan. Come on, come on, come on, Smith. So yeah. now I have the steps. And so now, all I have to do is just work it out now. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good. So what happens when you're consistent? Tell us. You gain strength. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Right. Come on. Yes. All right. What happens when you spend time with something? Woo. You grow fond of it. That's right. You grow a love for it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Why are, and, and, and we'll put it like this, why are mothers so passionate about their children? Well, come on now. <laughs> why is it that a mother is so passionate about her child? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is it that it seems as if women are more passionate about their child or their children than men are? It just seems as if, it's just something about that motherly love. And why is it that in the children, it's just something about a mother and a child connection that you just, it's just, it's unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because they grow up, they, they spend so much time with that child. They, they hold that child in their stomach. They walk with that child. They, they make sure that they take care of that child. They feed that child. They love that child. They grow a fond of that child. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So what happens, when, what happens when you grow fond of something? What happens when you love something, when you spend majority of your time with it? You begin to trust it, right? Mm -hmm. You begin to trust it. Yeah. So, the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, mm -hmm. it says, trust in the Lord. Yes. With all your heart. Oh, not one right. piece, not two pieces, not oh. three pieces, yeah. but all of your heart. Yes, sir. And lean not mm -hmm. on your own understanding. That's right. In all your ways, not one way, in all of them, mm -hmm. submit to him, mm -hmm. and he will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 So, Lord, if you, you're telling me that as long as I study on your word, meditate on it day and night, I'm able to do everything that is uh, uh, to do everything according to everything written in it. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, I'm spending time with you. I'm doing what you say do. Now I'm, I'm loving you. I'm, I'm trusting you. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're guiding me and I'm seeing things for, be, become fulfilled in my life. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, that's how you're exercising your faith. Yes, sir. Because now my eyes is not on me. Right, right. It's on him. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. Because it says lean not to your own understanding. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. And you trust in the Lord with all your heart. Uh -huh. And he's going to make your way prosperous if you believe yeah. in him. If you study the word, if you apply the word. Thank so you. now you begin to trust me. Yeah. It's no different when you're on your job. Well, on. I'm just going to speak for me from my perspective. Yes, sir. When I'm on my job, they'll say, hey, Neil, can you take that package to the third floor? I may tell them, hey, I'm not able to get it right now, but uh, first thing in the morning, I take care of it. Okay, Neil, it's no problem, it's no problem. The reason why they say it's no problem, the reason why they it's not a big deal because I trust him that he's gonna take care of it. 
Right. right. All right. I hear you. I hear you. I trust him that he's going to be able to take care. Why do they trust me? Because I spent time with him on the job a significant amount of time. Come on. Not only have I spent a, a, a significant amount of time with him, I watched him and seen him work. Come on. Woo. I hear you. I hear and you. And I seen him take care of things. I so now that I see him take care of things, now that I see I spent time with him, uh -huh. now I have built up a certain level of trust. Hey, Neil, it's no problem. You just take care of him when you get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good that's right good. there. That's good. That's good. Word. So now you gain strength. Now I'm able to pass the test. Yes, sir. I'm able to press forward uh -huh. because I spent time with him. I know who he is. Yes. I know what he can do. Yes. yes, yes. Thank you, Father. That's good. So, not only does, not only do you gain uh, strength by being consistent, you gain confidence. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yes, sir. Within yourself. Mm -hmm. The Lord says it like this in Psalms 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light mm -hmm. and my salvation. Yes. Yeah. Whom shall I fear? Yeah. The Lord is the strength uh -huh. of my life. Yes. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes, sir. Yes. Glory. So the Lord is telling me that mm -hmm. He's my strength of my life. Mm -hmm. So when a life deal comes in, I don't have to fear. Yeah. Vision knows it's coming in. I don't have to fear. That's okay. right. Hey, someone's staring at me at the stoplight and they won't stop staring at me. What do they have in their mind? I don't have to be worried about that. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm coming out the grocery store and four or five guys still staring at me. They haven't even, they're about to bump into the wall. They're staring at me so hard. Do I need to be worried about that? The Lord's the strength of my life. Hallelujah. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. Well, I heard in your area, they said on the news that people are stealing purses. So do I need to carry a purse? Extra tight and make sure that hey, I don't want them to get me. <laughs> the Lord is the strength of my life. Hallelujah. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. Not only does consistency give you a uh, strength to pass tests to press forward. Uh huh. And not only does it help you gain confidence, strength gives you wisdom. Yeah. Strength gives you knowledge. Yeah. yeah. You know what? This past Sunday when we was out there taking pictures, mm -hmm. I had a conversation with Pastor Dar. I was talking to him about losing weight. I was talking to him about gaining weight. And he was telling me about different foods that you eat that can help you think better, mm -hmm. protein-wise. Mm -hmm. Also, he was giving Shayla some tips on what she can do to be able to break down body fat. Mm -hmm. How is it that he knows that? Mm -hmm. How, did, how does he know that? And he just stared at me. Eye to eye, he was 100% confident. All right. Why was he able to just stare at me in the eye and actually tell me what he knew without even blinking? Right. Without even thinking about it. Because he's consistent. He's consistent. Mm -hmm. He does it on a regular basis. That's right. Amen. So now he's able to have wisdom and knowledge about it because he's always doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Right. Why do you think Jansen is able to play so well? Right. Yes, we know he's anointed. Right. We know that. Right. But he does it over and, and over. over again and over again and over again. Yeah. In, in, in Atlanta, when I was in, uh, when, when I come into the, when I came into the hotel, Tremaine, he beat on the drums. Mm -hmm. He had a little, he had a little, they had a little thing that he mm -hmm. bought. He would beat. Mm -hmm. He was beat, working on working on his skill. Uh -huh. Yes, he's anointed, but he still had to remain right. consistent. Right, right. In order to be able to produce a certain sound. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Glory. Yes, amen. That'll preach for us too. Okay. Mm. What does strength even mean? <clears throat> what does that mean? A good or beneficial quality or attribute mm -hmm. of a person or thing. State of being strong in particular. Uh-huh. All right. So I have a 
beneficial quality when I'm on. Mm -hmm. Have a beneficial quality uploading videos. That's my thing. That's my gift. That's my purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Your purpose may be song. Your purpose may be the prison ministry, the jail ministry, speaking with to, speaking to youth. Shayla's ministry may be praise dancing, speaking to the young ladies, teaching them how to govern themselves, bringing them up mm -hmm. on what they should do. You know what? I realized that if you have something valuable, Come on. the Lord has already spoken to me, and I'm not for sure when my season is. Mm -hmm. Your gifts, your talents, you have to be able to pass them on to somebody else mm -hmm. so it can continue to bless different generations and generations and generations. That's right. So you can be able to bless millions and thousands of people. And what I mean by that is, even when Shayla, we went down, when we went to the Atlanta, we went to Atlanta and went to the dance, um, dance class. Some of the things she already knew because she was brought up on the camera. So she was already familiar with some things because she was consistent in that area. And Karen was consistent in her life in that area. So she already knew about what to do, what not to do, how to dress, what to do before you marry. So she already knew that. So now she's able to go grab another young lady because she's knowledgeable about what's going on in that area. So what are you saying? What, what's your point to saying that, Benil? She has a beneficial quality now. Hallelujah. She's strong in a certain area. Yeah. Karen right. passed down to her. Now, Shayla, it's time for her to be able to pass it down to another young lady. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. So let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Does it mean if I don't pass a test, I'm not strong? I didn't pass that test. Am I not strong? Mm. Am I weak, weak because I didn't pass the test that I failed? Mm. I've learned in life, and this is just a personal experience for me. Uh -huh. I've learned in life that just because you failed in a certain area in your life, mm -hmm. it actually worked out for somebody else's life. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? What, what, I don't understand it. My failures maybe somebody else's success. Because I'm able to tell you, hey, come on, I, I you, know man. when I had touched that hot water, it, it right. come on. I'm telling you, man, I almost caught the kitchen on fire. <laughs> so now, man, I'm telling you, don't you do that. Right, right, come on, I hear you. That's it. And we know in Romans 8, 28, he says it like this. And we know that for those who love God, uh huh. Not one thing, not two, but all things Woo, yes, work sir. together yes. Yes. for good. Yes. Thank you, Father. For those mm -hmm. who are called according to His purpose. Yes. 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 So even when even when you fail, uh -huh. and sometimes I, I I I've gotten to a place in my life where I felt like I, I gotta do this right. I gotta do this right, Lord. I'm doing. Do that right. I gotta make sure I say this right. Don't do this. Don't do. That. I'm a robot. Uh -huh. Again, that's when I just was like, I need to breathe. Yeah. 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 Pastor told me like this. But you relax. Relax. He said, relax. <laughs> How do I know when I am strong in the Lord? Joshua 1 9 says it like this. Uh -huh. Have I not commanded you? All right. He said, be strong. Yeah. Be courageous. Yeah. Do not be frightened. Come on. Yes. Do not be dismayed. Yes. 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 For the Lord your God uh -huh. is with you wherever go. you go. Yes. Glory. Amen. So, Lord, I am strong? Yes. Be strong. Be courageous. Be strong. Be courageous. So, when someone says, be, what does be mean? I'm giving you permission. 
<laughs> B. Go ahead. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You have my permission to be able to do that. Come on. Yeah. 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 So it says, be careful, God downloaded in my spirit last Sunday while Pastor was ministering. He said, be careful in your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Who are you just, you're surrounding yourself with because you may think you are getting stronger mm -hmm. with being around them, mm -hmm. but it can be hurtful yeah. in the process. So what do you mean being careful who you surround yourself with because you maybe think you're getting stronger with being around them, but it can become hurtful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. I was working out with somebody I knew, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to War Memorial. So we're working out, and you know, I'm about 170, but this guy is about 230. I'm talking about solid muscle. So the thing is, he was having me lift what he normally lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so me thinking like, okay, he's stronger than I am. He's, and he's in the gym consistently. So he may know what he's talking about. It become hurtful in the process because I end up getting a hernia. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus. So, 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 what, so what are you saying? You may be around somebody mm -hmm. that may think they know mm -hmm. what's going on. But in these days and times, this person has to be 100% confident in who they are and what they're trying to do. Because if you're around somebody that don't know who they are, Come know on. what they stand for, what they're trying to do, what direction they need, they don't even know. They think they may know. No, I need you to know because my time is valuable. My spirit is valuable. Right. Because yeah. what you're going to end up pouring to me may be the wrong thing and I might right. end up dumping it out on somebody else. Come or on. I may end up getting hurt in the process right. and I may end up scarring somebody else as well. Come on. So I end up physically becoming hurt because I had end up getting a hernia that I'm going to have to get a get surgery removed because being around a certain person that was hurtful in the process wow. hurt me in the process wow. and the Bible says it like this whoever walks excuse me Proverbs 13 20 whoever walks with the wise mm -hmm. become wise that's right but the, com but the companion of fools <laughs> Come on. We'll suffer harm. All right. That's the word, That's too. The word. So, if I would have went to the gym with a trainer or somebody that was knowledgeable in that area, then right. I wouldn't have to deal with surgery. Right. Why? Wow. But me going to the gym with somebody else that really wasn't for sure or <laughs> just did what worked for him right. caused me harm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's right. So what's your point in seeing all that, man? Whoever you spend time with, make sure that they know who they are. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's it. And make sure you understand who you are. Amen. Yes. And who you are. Glory. Right. Amen. That's the only way that this is going to be able to work. Amen. I got to know who I am. You got to know who you are. Because if I don't know who I am and you don't know who you are, what we doing? <laughs> Big ball of confusion. The Bible says it like this. Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? So the bottom line is, and I wrap this up. Consistency. Consistency. Produces results. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Consistent. So whatever you do, make sure that you are consistent in God to yes. so be able to get the results yes. that you need. That's how people lose weight. They are consistent. They follow the meal plan, the workout plan, and then they're active with it, and then they. Get the results that they need. That's a 90 pounds, 100 pounds, 50 pounds, 25 pounds. I'm pretty sure that you guys seen before and after pictures of people that's on workout programs. Right. 
So make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do so that you can get the results out of God that you need in your life. Amen. But if you're not consistent in Him, how are you going to receive the results that you need for Him? It, whatever it may be for Him to do. I found myself running around in circles in certain areas of my life. Merry go round. That's what they call it. Mm -hmm. Merry go round. I'm like, Lord, I, I spoke the word. I spoke the word. I spoke the word. Mm -hmm. But as I start becoming consistent in areas, I'm finding myself. Because I've been listening to Creflo Dollar, uh, Spirit Series, and stuff like that. And I find myself, I'm realizing, I said, I'm not afraid of everything like I used to be. Yeah. Wow. I said, why is it that um, I'm, I'm not fearful about it? It, it? Just certain things like that. Now it's to a point, I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and deal with it. What's the problem? No. If I'm, my heart beating or whatever, I'm still there. What's the problem? Right. And normally I used to. But now it's like, okay, what's the problem? What we need to do? Because I realize that when you go through something, mm -hmm. you gain confidence about that area. Right. You gain confidence. You know what I can do that? Oh, that wasn't that bad. I can do that again. Mm -hmm. Why that bad? I, I got that. All right. All right. <laughs> I got that. And this thing you know, you just continue to grow and grow in God. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you all can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You guys are more than a conqueror. You guys are the head and not the tail. You guys are above and not the knee. You guys are the lender and not the borrower. So you don't have to be a slave to anything. You have to be a slave to anyone. You know, Amen. You are, the God, you are God's children and he has you covered. Just believe in him. Trust in him. Be open. Yes. Yes. I was obedient. You told me what to tell your people. Yes. Yes. Exercise that faith in this time. Yes. Yes. Prepare for that blessing, Father God, in this time. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for obedience, Father God. Yes. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. Yes.